I'm going to show you a really delicious recipe that is so easy to make. You can even make it in your car. I'll explain what that means in a minute. I'm going to be using my trusty eight quart electric pressure cooker. I love pressure cooking because it's ready in no time. This is called black bean mushroom chili. And if you have a can opener and a scissors, you can make this recipe. So it's black bean chili. So we will start with black beans and I'm using three cans of salt free black beans. And I'm going to be using the liquid in the cans because it not only has flavor, but it also adds a little bit of liquid to the recipe. If you want to cook your beans from scratch, by all means do that, but realize you'll have to add a little liquid in because it won't have any liquid. Every can of beans is approximately 1.5 cans of cooked beans, but I am kind of lazy, so I just buy the can. Actually, everything I do is pretty quick, easy, and cheap if possible. It's probably cheaper to cook them from scratch, but this is obviously a little bit more convenient. Sometimes a little bit will be in the can. So you can take a little bit of water and just kind of move that around and get all that liquid there. If you are consuming salt, no problem. Just buy cans of beans with salt. That is totally fine. And you want to know the truth. This recipe is so versatile that if you don't have black beans, pretty much any bean will work. There have been times that I've made it using a combination of beans, like kidney beans with even pinto beans or garbanzo beans. It, it works great because the seasonings are wonderful. So I did that. I got all the liquid out of the cans. I'll save this in case there's some tomato products that I want to get every last drop out of. I am using the Muir Glen salt-free tomatoes. Again, if you eat salt, just get any kind of canned tomatoes. These are fire roasted because that gives it just a little bit more flavor and it's easier to buy it than fire roasting tomatoes yourself. Now, if you like things a little bit spicy, you can get the no salt added or salt added if you eat salt Rotel. These are about a dollar a can at Walmart and these are wonderful for making things like soups, stews, chilies, and even easy salsa. So I'm just going to dump everything in the pressure cooker because that's how I roll. I love recipes where you don't have to dirty a lot of pots and pans. You can just throw everything in the pressure cooker. And I don't mind adding a little bit of water because it extends it. And since we are having our monthly potluck tomorrow, this is what I make every month. Never get any complaints. The people love it. And that's possibly because of all the wonderful seasonings. We're going to add a chopped onion. This happens to be a sweet onion because that's what I had on hand, but usually I use a red onion and usually I buy it already chopped. And then of course some garlic. I love this little tool from Tupperware, but other companies make them as well because I find that when I use a garlic press, it gets in those holes and I'm never able to clean it. So this little tool is real easy to clean. You get a nice little workout. You can use either arm, and the more pulls you make, the finer it's minced. And if you want, you can even buy garlic already minced. During the pandemic, a lot of those convenience items were really prevalent, and they're absolutely fine. I don't know how people cook without our onion and garlic. I think it's the foundation of pretty much all cooking. Just going to add a little water there to get all the garlic out. Just kind of move it around because for some reason I forgot my spatula. There we go. Just be careful with the blade. I would wash this by hand, not in the dishwasher. And then what would mushroom chili be without mushrooms? These are baby Bella mushrooms, but feel free to use any mushroom you like. White mushrooms, cremini mushrooms. I buy these already sliced, but if you want to slice them yourself, use an egg slicer. That's a great use of an egg slicer. You don't want to be eating eggs now, do you? So look how full this pressure cooker is, but mushrooms release a lot of their water, so it is going to cook down. Now, if you don't have the eight quart electric pressure cooker, you're going to have to, meaning you have a six quart, you wouldn't be able to do this in a three quart. You're going to have to add the corn later. That's what I love about the eight quart or the 10 quart, because even if you're only cooking for one or two, you can always do a 
smaller recipe in a larger pressure cooker, but you can't do a large one in a smaller one. But it's okay if you have a smaller one. You can add the corn later because after all, it's frozen corn, so it doesn't really need to cook. I like to get organic with corn because it is so heavily genetically modified. And again, I love the fire roasted because it just has more flavor. And it's okay to put the bag in frozen because we're going to cook this. Now, the only thing we need to add are the seasonings. And I want to show you a little trick I started doing probably 20 years ago that saved me a lot of time. I noticed that people don't eat 30 different breakfasts, 30 different lunches, and 30 different dinners every day. At least nobody I know does that. We all have our family's favorites, maybe five, maybe 10 recipes that we repeat. And so what I do is I get these little jars. So when I have spices, after they're empty, I wash them in the dishwasher, the label comes off, and then I put a label on for all the recipes that I know I'm going to make often. And then I can make up little spice jars. I'll do maybe 10 or 12 at a time so that when I'm making the recipe, like today, black bean mushroom chili, I simply pull it from my shelf. I always smell it just to make sure I did the right spice blend because one time I pulled the wrong one, I hadn't labeled it, and I made oatmeal, apple pie oatmeal with cumin. Didn't taste so good. So I'm going to put that in. You do a little prep ahead. It's so easy. And then I'm going to place this on high pressure for six minutes. It's already pre-programmed because obviously this last time I used it, I made that. You could cook this on the stove. It will take longer. I would just probably cook it for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. You could certainly do it in a slow cooker, but then it's going to take, you know, four to six hours, depending on your setting of the slow cooker. I just find pressure cookers a tremendous time saver because when it's done, it will turn into a warming setting. You can set it and forget it. And then that's how we do it at the potlucks. And it just stays warm for the potlucks. And this freezes well, although we never have enough left over to freeze, but people have told me that it does. Now, if you want to take the extra time, you can saute the onion without oil in the pressure cooker. Same with the mushroom. It'll take you about an extra 30 minutes. And I've noticed it doesn't really add that much in flavor. So the return, at least for me, isn't worth it. So how did I cook this in my my car. Well, many years ago, I was speaking at a college in Ventura, California. And at the time, my car was a Toyota Matrix. And instead of a cigarette lighter, it had an actual plug. And I had my pressure cooker with me because I always travel with it. And I was there with Dr. Alan Goldhammer and there was nothing that we could eat. There was a Whole Foods nearby and I was able to buy all these ingredients. I didn't have a can opener at the time, but you can actually get beans and tomato products in what's called aseptic packaging where you literally tear it off. And I was able to make this in my car. So if I can cook in my car, you can cook at home. We're going to have to wait until it comes up to pressure. That could take a little bit more than six minutes because the internal temperature has to come up to like boiling, which is, I believe, 212 pressure cooking, I think is 247. But once it does come up to pressure, it'll take six minutes and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So when the chili's ready, the pressure cooker will beep 10 times and you can either release the pressure immediately or just let it come down to pressure naturally, depending on how quickly you want to eat it. If you're cooking something like vegetables, like zucchini, you definitely want to release the pressure immediately or you'll have mush. But with soups, stews, and chilies, whenever you get to it. So I like to use this thing called a diverter because otherwise the steam goes up on my ceiling and my cabinets. You can make one yourself with some PVC from Home Depot. These are just a few dollars if you like to use them. How long it takes for the pressure to release will depend on how full the unit is. And this was pretty full all the way to the top. So it could take a minute or two. While the pressure is releasing, I'll tell you how I like to serve the chili because usually I'm making this for guests. I always like to serve a little bit of a sprinkle that I call faux parmesan, which tastes like parmesan cheese, but it's made just from oats, nutritional yeast, and some salt-free seasoning. And I also like to serve it with oil-free tortilla chips that I make in about five minutes in my air fryer. My favorite way, though, is to give everyone the sweet cornbread muffins to eat with the chili or, better yet, to crumble on top. And I usually have other condiments there for people that like spicy things, like some fresh sliced jalapeno peppers, maybe some scallions, and some cilantro, which I know not everybody likes, but it's kind of fun to have 
like a little food bar, and people can add what they like. The pressure was starting to slow down. You don't have to worry about the safety of pressure cookers because I promise you, you wouldn't be able to open the top until the pressure is fully released. You're going to see mushrooms have so much water that as full as it was when we started, it's probably going to only be about halfway when we finish. You could just put a towel over this as well, but it's going to make your towel wet. So this is kind of cute. They make them in all kinds of designs like dragons and people. So it looks like steam is coming out of their ears. This little, I don't know what you call it, like button. When the pressure is not released, you're not going to be able to open it. But when that little button drops, we can be safe to open it. And I like to serve it in like little, like, I don't know what these are called, like crocs or fondues, whatever they're called. And we're almost ready. I like to keep these magnets on the side of my pressure cooker so I don't have to memorize anything. Boom. That went down. We can safely open it. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, it's so hearty and it's so delicious. I always offer other starches as well when we have this, like cooked brown basmati rice. Sometimes we've even eaten it over a baked potato. So just going to take a scoop or two and fill our crock. Honestly, this is one of the best chilies I've ever tasted. And as you can see, it's probably one of the easiest. And then maybe a little sprinkle of the faux parmesan and then adding anything else you want to it. And there you have it, quick and easy black bean mushroom chili.